What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Neil Ben Fish, and just received this sucker in the mail, the Mystery Tackle Box Pro for the month of March. Came here quick and fast. I gotta say, Mystery Tackle Box got the best shipping out there when it comes to subscription boxes for me personally. Um, we are here at my local park. It is a rainy one, man. It is a crappy day. It was just nice and now it's crappy. But anyway, no one wants to hear that. Let's crack open this here. Mystery Tackle Box Pro. It's looking juicy. Let's get all the paperwork out. Start out with the sticker. It is a jig fight. Look at that. The bass versus the jig. Who will win? A black and blue jig? I think the bass is a goner. I'm going to say the jig won. I like that. Very colorful. We got the dibble. Just, you know, you just read it. Get some information. Some hoodies, whatever. Gear, apparel. We got our bait card. Let me show you the bait card. Bam. Looks like we are getting a cycle bait this month. I guess this is their big ticket item. That's what they're advertising about there. Let me hold it still so you could uh, read any of this information. You could pause it if you'd like to know more about it. And we do get a beer this month. So this is really good. You could take this out fishing and... uh Sneak into a spot where you need to go fishing. If you get caught there, the next time you go back, put this on and they will think you're a different person. But anyway, this is a uh, Carl's Beard Contest. Post your best impersonation of Carl by taking a selfie with this beard and sharing it to the whole world. We will pick our favorite impersonations and reshare them on our Mystery Tackle Box Instagram or Twitter. How to enter. So, I guess you need to get the box to be able to participate practically. Alright, now on to the good stuff. Our first bait is a Lunker Hunt Easy Prey coming in at $9.99. And I do believe that this is one of their newer iCast baits right here. Look at that, that looks pretty cool. Uh, join it kick in action. Slow float on a pause. So this is pretty cool. I figure it's just going to sliver right beneath the water there. Probably it doesn't go very deep. Let's check it out. It's just going to look like a wounded or injured bait fish. Wow, look at this thing. This thing got a whole lot going on. Oh, let me get it in the, in the view. Kind of reminds me of one of them old school baits. Like, they used to throw a lot of treble hooks on there. If you look up some of the old school lures, some of them were, like, pretty scary looking. But look at this. We do have a uh, little lip there. Not very big. Just enough to pull it down, most likely. But this is going to look really good in the water with all these feathers and stuff. I like it. I do believe that this is going to catch, catch a fish for sure. I think it's a good one. It definitely caught me, the fisherman. So the Lunker Hunt bait coming in at $10. That's a cool bait, different. I mean, I don't know. I can't judge it yet. I have not fished it. It could be the best thing in the world. We don't know yet. So I like that. That's, that's why I get the box, to try different weird things like that. Um, next, we got a Ama Suspending Vibration. You know what? This is really cool because I was going to get this, but I picked a six cents one over this. This is a Japanese design. It's a Ama lipless, a suspended one. This color is called Silver Lining. It's the Suspended Vibe 70. And what a perfect time. I mean, right now, jerk baits and liplesses. Or two baits you need, so bring both of them baits into one, and you're gonna catch some fish. So you could really, I mean, you could really fish this so many different ways because it suspends. You could pause it, you could fish it like a jerk bait, retrieve it. You could really mix up your retrieve with this and keep it in the strike zone much longer. It is a 
fat sucker. I like that. So, I believe Six Sense and um, Ama is the only one that has the suspending. I believe a company Strike Pro used to have one, but I'm not sure that they do anymore. Look at that pattern. That is pretty cool. I definitely like that. Hooks are pretty sharp. I don't know what's on here. Like some plastic or something. I don't know. Hair? I don't know. Pretty cool. Got the little shad dot. I like that. And uh, it has some pretty good weight to it for being a suspendant. So you'll be able to bomb that out there. I like that. So far, favorite bait in the box. That's my big ticket item so far. How much is this? $10. $9.99. So, so far, pretty good. $30 for the box. So far, we, are, we got $20 worth of baits just with two of them. All right, next we got the 10,000 fish cycle bait underspin. And uh, as you can see here, they give you a little pamphlet. So I guess this is their big ticket item, what they think. Or I don't know, maybe. Uh, this is $6.99. This is cool. I wanted to try one of these, but I didn't want to buy it. Because, uh, you know, I have a lot of underspin. So I was hoping to get one of these to try. And then maybe if I like it, I will buy it. What's this way here? It's a three out hook. It's not have a uh, weight. It's a quarter ounce. I like that. So this is a little bit different than your underspins. Um, I have their cycle bait, and what that does is, uh, th what this is gonna do if it's anything like the cycle bait is, it's just gonna like go back and forth like that. But pretty crazy here. We got, uh, kind of looks like handcuffs. <clears throat> a lot of rings on here. And then we got the Colorado blade. There is a little symbol in here. I like get 10,000 fish logo. Can we get it? It might just be too shiny and hard to get. But there is uh, the 10,000 fish logo in there. Check that out, though. That is pretty nice. We have the wire bait keeper, lead bait keeper. We'll have to try that out. Pretty interesting. 10,000 fish, I, I like them as a company. I think they come up with some really cool stuff. It is a company from Ketchco. How did they get this in here? Oh. It is a company from Ketchco. And uh, you know, they think outside the box, 10,000 fish is really inspired by Japanese baits. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. Nice presentation for it. So far, this box is uh, pretty exciting. Then we got the Exxon Adrenaline Cross. Adrenaline Cross, five ninety nine. I actually have so many packs of these now because I ordered some myself. Look at that! I actually, get a full pack here, no sample pack. With the Adrenaline Crawl, Adrenaline Crawl, you do get six in a pack. And uh, this color is green pumpkin, blue flake. And uh, this is a really nice bait. This is a lot like a Zoom Z crawl. I really love the Zoom Z crawl. So, you know, this is like you fish it any which way you would fish that bait. Tear it apart. Got a fat little swedge pincher there. That's going to give off a lot of kicking action. Got a little bit of ribs for water displacement and just give it a more juicy look for the bass to want to bite it. But, and they also come scent it. They have a nice little sweet smell, nothing too crazy, but their plastics are nice. And a lot of times the claws float. I'm not sure if they mention that on here. Yes, yeah, floating claws, that's, that's their thing. They like to make sure that their claws float. I like it. All right. And then we got the uh, Biwata Scorpion Tail. Now, this is a Japanese. Uh, there's a lot of, like, Japanese stuff and Japanese-inspired stuff in here. Look at that. Little fluke thing. Say Scorpion Tail 4. Green Pumpkin, 4-inch. Get an 8-pack. I like that. 
And I'm so glad there's no sample packs. That's one thing that just gets my blood boiling is a sample pack. Check out them uh, little features on there. We have a little divot right here. That's pretty cool. We have a little like scorpion tail. I guess that's how it gets his name. Got the little stinger. It is pretty much a fluke. Got the little little belly slot. So this would pair good with this possibly. If the yeah, I was wondering if the bait keeper would tear the head of it. It could be possible, but I, I think that would go good together there. So I like that. I like to see more of this company in the box. Uh, this is the second time that they've been in the box and uh, they have this other bait that I got that was pretty darn awesome. And for how little the baits are and eight of them, this little pack's got weight to it. So they're really like got some very dense plastic or a lot of salt or something in here because it's got some weight. And these baits here are 5 dollars I think that's a pretty good deal because uh, I, I do believe it is like Japanese bait. So a lot of times the Japanese stuff costs money. And then next we have a Cream Lures Pro Series Spoiler Lizard. $1.63. And uh, never, never have a bad day with Cream Lures. You know, they've been in the game for a long time. I mean, look at all the stuff they make there. They have that really tough plastic, but it still has great action. Now this here does look like a sample pack. But they are only charging 163 for it, so that's not bad at all. This is uh I wanna call it a June bug, but it kinda looks more I don't know. I guess it is a June bug. To me, it kind of looks like a cotton candy purplish color. But look at them flakes in there. And you can just see how thick them uh, little arms are. This is that really tough rubber here. You're going to catch multiple fish off of this. And you know what? I see why they put a lizard in here. Because right now, the fish are going to be bedding up. And a lot of times, creature baits like this will get the bite. You just sit there, antagonize them with loud bright colors and uh, they just get annoyed I mean could you imagine you're with your lady you're in a bedroom somebody trying to come in and, and, and annoy you while you're trying to do something you're gonna be pissed off you're gonna you're gonna go after your buddy so that's what's gonna happen here and that is it that is the box didn't realize that's there's no hooks, which I don't care. I got tons of hooks. I wish they would get rid of the darn hooks and just give me some extra stuff or whatever. You know, put that money elsewhere. But we got the cream lizards. We got the underspin. We got this crazy lunker hunt, which I'm glad to have. These are pretty awesome here. Catch all kinds of stuff on those. And uh, save my favorite for last, Diama. That is awesome. Oh. And the adre Adrenaline Crawl. And uh, you get a chance to win a contest, so. Maybe get a get a little screenshot. Oh, I'm not going into the contest, but not at it. That didn't work. I don't really care about that. But anyway, that's it. That's gonna wrap up this video. Um, definitely my favorite sticker of this year so far. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, let me know what you think about it. I think it was a pretty good box. I'm really impressed with it. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out.